My AK's got, um, it's an American receiver built on a uh, Romanian parts kit. I've got two of them that way. One's a Wasser 10, the other one's the uh, GP1975. The 1975 I picked up uh, at the gun show for $450. They normally go for about 700 bucks. Yep. Like if you if you go to jgsales.com, you can buy all kinds of stuff on there. They've got you go um, pat pistols on there. They're AK pistols. I was looking at buying one of those just for fun. You cut the muzzle brake off. It's got a, a a bead. It's got a weld bead on there to keep it from spinning off, but it's threaded. You just heat that up, break the weld, spin it off, and you can put a um, a crank off flash hider on the end of it there, and that. That'll make it a little better. Better to shoot. You won't have that big bright flash in your face. It'll go outward instead of with the stupid circle muzzle protector on it. So you, you mount a single point sling to that bad boy, and you put a you put an optic on that uh on that dust cover there or something like that. You, you'd have a sweet little pistol right there. Another reason I picked the Yugo though was it comes with the bayonet, the bladed stop bayonet, that spike. Yeah. Because yeah, it's some rock bayonet. Bullet. Depending on that kind of fire fight you get into, you can run a bullet, and you've always got a weapon there with that bayonet. <laughs> you, you got a spe- you got a spear. <laughs> That's what I like about the Mosins. They're already five foot tall. You put the bayonet on it, it's taller than me. I'm six foot five. Drop it out of a tree or something and kill a deer with it. Now, I'm a big advocate on both the Moise and the SK. I love them both. I, I've got so many AR arguments with guys. I feel like, dude, the AR, you got too many parts. Too much shit that's go wrong. And they're hypersensitive to the dust. Well, the only problem I have with an AR is uh, they're too tight. The tolerances are too tight on them. Don't get me wrong. It's a great rifle. I love I love my AR. The problem is it's too tight. Any bit of dirt gets in there, it clogs it up. That's why I like the piston-driven system. I don't own one. I have a friend who owns one, and we beat the shit out of his AR all the time. And that thing just keeps running like an AK. That's why I like it. It'll still jam here and there like a typical AR will. If it gets too gummed up, but it has better tolerances with a piston-driven system versus the regular gas system on an AR. That's why I like it. Yep. My AK, I've never cleaned either one of my AKs. Uh, I've probably put about 4,000 rounds through one and maybe 100, 200 rounds through the other one. <laughs> I just won't clean them. It runs better dirty. <laughs> well, heck, those damn things are designed to be dirty and sand. Ten years later, come back, dig them up, get them clean, and start shooting. I um, I watched somebody put um, or do a torture test test on an AK. They put um, what the hell do you call those things? Um, fruitcake. That's it. Yeah, they, he put fruitcake in his AK. I'm not even kidding when I say that. He actually took a fruitcake, cut it up, and smashed it into his receiver and the dust cover. And it it's it wouldn't cycle for like the first ten shots. But after it blew the shit out of the way of the bolt, it would cycle. <laughs> it was pretty fucking funny, actually. Yeah, go back to us. They know what they were doing. Well, actually, they designed the AK that if it ever broke, that they would just get a new one. They never really designed it to hold up as well as it did. That's the funny part. I just pulled into the fucking truck stop here. Hopefully I can get some fuel really fast because I'm already running behind as it is. Uh, this is a Chicago trucker right here. Oh, yeah? Hey, you buy a Chicago trucker there? What's that? Are you a Chicago trucker? No, this is Big Red. Oh, Big Red. Yeah, Chicago Trucker runs pretty much the same schedule. I'm actually surprised he's not in. I guess he's off. Either that or that, uh, 
MP3 recording, uh, he yeah, thought the line was down or maintenance or something. What's that? You guys thought the, the line was down for maintenance? Because yeah. Because yeah, that recording going. Well, I had a few people message me about that, saying, uh, is, it, is it going or is it down a maintenance cycle? Like, oh, there's, well, there's people there. They just got some real good data being displayed right now. <laughs> you might hear a little background noise on my end here. I am at the truck stop, and there's trucks all over the place running and making noise and shit. Well, uh, it is that time of the morning. Everybody starts fueling up, getting ready to head out. Uh, it's actually kind of quiet in here. Usually this truck stop is uh, so full of trucks you can't even get in and out of the damn parking lot. Well, that's just how New Jersey is. They're already stopped. There's an influx of trucks because there's nowhere to park. Give me one second here. i got to do some math in my head real quick. All right, I'm doing about 400 miles today. Times five, or divided by five. I need about 70 gallons for today. Trying to figure out how much fuel I'm going to use, so I'm going to need somewhere between 50 and 70, so I'll just get 70. I'll burn it up. The rain I'm pulling today is pretty heavy. The trick is not to overbuy fuel on the weekends. Because you don't know what you're going to get the next day, so you don't want to buy, you know, $500 worth of fuel and only use 200 And that cuts into your next week's pay. Yep. And everybody knows fuel prices go back, go back down on Mondays anyway. Yeah, my, my fuel card resets every Sunday. Like Sunday at midnight, so Monday morning. Then I can purchase fuel. Like I tell my night guy on Sunday... You know, I'll put enough fuel in you to get you started. Like when uh, when uh, when it rolls over, you know, if you want to fill the truck up, go for it. Just make sure you wait till after midnight. <laughs> He's like, why? Is it because I don't want to pay for it this week? I want to pay it next week. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I'm here. I might as well fill up the DF. With this new truck, they have this exhaust fluid shit you gotta put in. Yeah, uh, I'm not a big fan of it. It's an extra twenty-five dollars a week coming out of my pocket for nothing. Because some liberal thought it'd be a good idea to pump fucking literally cat piss into a into an engine. pretty bad when your main ingredient for what's supposed to uh, keep your engine clean is piss. Yep. What, um, so what are you guys doing today? Anything good today or no? I mean, I'm getting ready to crash out here. I just got home from work. <laughs> I'm one of those nice crazy cab drivers. You're a what? One of those crazy night shift cab drivers. <laughs> I can imagine. I used to date a cab driver. She uh, she had some wild stories out there in Chicago, that's for sure. All right, well, I'm going to jump off here, though, but you guys have a good day. I'll be back out later tonight. Yep, be careful. This is Mr. One, I'm heading out. What's up?
still there? You still there? This is four to one. Are you still there? Is there anyone on? Hello? Hello? It is 6.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and this is a unmoderated call. All you have to do is hit star six to unmute yourself, and you can speak. This is Florida One at 6.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is an unmoderated call. All you have to do is hit star six to unmute yourself. Anyone on? Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Hey, who's on? Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Cheryl in Nebraska. Hi. What's going on? Uh, I'm speaking of going to a place that it hasn't happened yet. You said what? I said, I keep thinking I'm going to get some sleep, but it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. How long you been on for? What? How long have you been on here for? I keep saying hello. <laughs> yeah, there was a wall in there just a little bit ago. Yeah. I would think that most everybody would be ready to sleep, but. No, I got to stay on here. <laughs> I can't go to sleep. Why? Because we got to run 24 hours a day. Really? Never know when any news is going to go. Well, yeah, that's true. I got to run these radios and scanners and keep the call open. Uh-huh. So you get this shift, huh? Do what? You get this shift for the time when it's running. Well, lately I've been getting this this bottom shift, waiting on giving, uh, trying to give Barbie a chance to take a break. Uh, well, I was thinking she was out uh, going to be out. She said she's going to be out until 6.30. I thought, whoa, that's a long time. No, she took a break. Mm-hmm. I'm a night owl anyway, so. Well, 
I tend to be that way too, but I just have a lot of trouble going to sleep more than anything. Yeah. Me too. I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. I was um, a little confused. I think they flipped it over right on the uh, computer. I think they flipped it over to rewriting the earlier part. Because all of a sudden, it seems like we're talking about something suddenly diff- different. So. My phone had died by then, so I couldn't do anything. And I didn't catch all the last night stuff anyway. Yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly what the status is out there. Oh, everything's fine. Not good. So are they expecting more issues out there or what? They're expecting that if we let up, if the militias let up and go home. So this is going to be at least a three-month prog- pro- uh, program. Uh, it may take longer than that even. I had a feeling that whenever uh, people go home, it'll be a speed attack. And what? then somebody was talking that there's, I mean, I know about stuff going on in Texas, but it sounds like there were other spots that are very similar. Well, this stuff's good. Land grabbing stuff's been going on for a long time. Well, yes, I know. I grew up out in the country. I know how wonderful the government is. I was saying that facetiously. Yeah. And who was reading the book before that? Oh, that's called the, uh, that's, uh, uh, from the book, Pandora's Box. Yeah, I got that much. I'll have to go and see if I can find that. The way I was understanding it, it was like 1993 would have been the chance to turn things around some, but it doesn't sound like the obvious way that didn't happen. Yeah, no, it didn't happen. I don't don't think there's no turning it around except doing away with the government and starting over. Yeah. But then we have figure out exactly what kind of a government we're going to have. I'm a little worried about all of those kinds of things like that. Uh, And then the states and all of those activities that are going on. I'm just a little worried about somebody trying to hijack it or something. I spent some time working on trying to get information about um, grand juries. Sounds like there are some already that are being entangled. In fact, I was reading that um, they already had, some of the states already have had citizen grand juries 
indictments of Obama, etc. Uh, people wonder, so why hasn't anything been done? You still there? Oh yeah. I didn't say you didn't say anything when I said something about citizens grand jury. So I thought maybe something came up that Yeah, I had to put down the phone for a second and and check the radio. Ah. And everything's okay? Yeah, everything's good. I was just checking something. I wasn't sure if I turned the channel back on or not. <laughs> what kind of a radio are you talking about? Ham radio? Yeah, I have a ham radio and scanners going. Oh, a uh, scanner from Park County or what? Yeah, I got them set on them channels right now. Hmm. I turned it down a minute ago, and I wasn't sure if I turned it back up. Ah. I was making sure I turned it up. Um, are they on mountain time or Pacific time? I think they're central. In Vegas? I believe so. That's I heard they were. I'm not sure. Vegas is not central time. Maybe it's Pacific. The same time starts in the middle of Nebraska. Well, everyone keeps saying central, Pacific, eastern. The past few days, I get confused. So, uh, the time is He's the mess out of me. Well, it's either mountain time or Pacific time, but I don't know which way it is there. Yeah. I don't know. I just know it's Clark County, Nevada. I don't know what anything else about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whether it's Central, Pacific, or Eastern. <laughs> mm-hmm. I could have sworn that everyone keeps saying it Central time. What? I keep thinking everyone said it was Central time, but I could be wrong. Oh, it can't be Central time because... Um, I know that the time zones change in the middle of Nebraska, like at North Platte. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what. I, I thought it was. Maybe it's Pacific. Yeah, that's what I can't. Uh, that's, that's what I can't remember. Is exactly where the time zone changed. I could look it up, I guess, but I'm just lazy.
So who was it that was reading that Pandora's box? I don't know his name. Okay. Uh, Barbie was on... Uh, I fell asleep when he was reading that. <laughs> name. Okay. So, if you're if you're monitoring the radio, what happens if something actually happens at this time of the day, night? So we got numbers to boots on the ground. I have another radio that's boots on the ground. Some a few of the boots on the ground, and I will call Barbie, and I'll wake some people up. <laughs> What was that? What? There's some kind of strange noise going on. I don't know. A popping noise? What? Is it a popping noise? Uh, not really a popping noise. Sort of like a, a some kind of a skip kind of a thing. Like something is dragging along on a... On a yeah, it's been at point tonight. It's like uh, them recording or whatever that they're doing, because it's a recorded call. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like when they're recording something, you hear that skip. I don't know. It, it's been on there today for some reason. Even if I mute out, it still does it constantly, getting on my nerves. <laughs> I'm. Well, it could be our illustrious government getting in there. Possibly. We had some weird stuff going on tonight on there, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was hearing that click, 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 click all the time while people were talking. So. What part of the country are you in? I'm in Florida. Ah. So is the sun coming up there already? Yep. It's 6.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the only thing I know is where I live at is Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, I'm is it the panhandle of Florida on Central Time? I don't know. I, it may be. I haven't been down in the panhandle part, so. I used to talk to people at Florida, and I thought that it was like the very edge of the panhandle was actually Central Time as opposed to um Atlantic or Eastern or whatever. Uh, I heard, you know what, I think it is. This is Eastern Standard Time where I'm at, and I think Panhandle is like, is Alabama time. Which would be Central Time. Yeah. That's what I thought. Well, the sun's coming up here, too. <clears throat> sort of. It's being way too light for it to be nighttime. Yeah. <clears throat> Which means that I'm going to be very tired tonight. Well... My bedtime is daytime, so it's nighttime for me. <laughs> ah. That's normally when I can sleep, because I, I, I'm always in a lot of pain, so. Yeah? What's that from? 
Oh, I fell and broke my back. Oh. That's not good. No. Do you have, uh, is it shoes then or what? Yeah, I got rods in my back. Uh, mm -hmm. Rods in my elbow. Actually, I don't have rods in my elbow. I got plates in my shoulder and hinges in my elbow. Well, how did you do that to yourself? I fell six stories and broke my back. Oh, what kind of work were you doing? Oh, I was a firefighter. A what? I was a firefighter. Is that when you fell? Yeah, well, I was a firefighter trained for a life flight, and I fell in Jacksonville. I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. I fell in Jacksonville six stories down an elevator shaft off the Deerwood Run uh, Bell South building. Oh. That would do it. Six floors is a long ways up. Yep. Lucky to be alive. Yeah. Most definitely. So is Pete Fantilli still out there? Uh, I don't know if he's still there, but I know he's he was there earlier. Well, yeah. I, when stuff was all being really hot out there, I know he was out there because I watched some of his stuff. I know he was there today or yesterday. Well, today's today. Yesterday, I think. Okay. That is a strange noise. Huh? I said it's strange noise on here. It's that popping noise, right? Well, it, it's sort of a popping noise, but it, it seems more grating than that. <clears throat> All I hear is snapping noises. Ah. Well, I suspect the longer this goes on with the conversation going on on the on the call thing, I suspect it'll get worse. Yeah. So do you do uh, research also while you're up all night? Yes, yeah, what I'm doing now, trying to find, trying to find something. So what are you looking for? Right this second, I'm looking for something to post on my pages. <laughs>
video, um, check all of your references and everything when you're doing your research? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you say that again. I said, do you check way back to see where the story originates when you post something or what? Sometimes. I just, the main thing is I just verify and make sure it's true. From yeah. Real life. So how do you do that? Well, I go to Google and Google up and see if it's posted more than once by different news media, see if they're credible news sources. Sometimes I go to Snopes, but I don't depend on Snopes much anymore. Yeah, I've gotten to the point where I don't trust anything from anybody anymore. Yeah. But I tend to share a lot of stuff, assuming that, you know, uh, some of it's got to be true, and, of course, some of it's not. Mostly I'm paranoid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not to the point of being too paranoid yet. There's really not much I can do about some of the stuff that's, you know, out there. Yeah. Well, I don't trust any of the, the mainstream media anymore, that's for sure. Yeah, me neither. Well, I think I'm going to try to go back to sleep, or to sleep, I don't know. All right. So I'll let you listen to your radios. Hmm. Well, I'll be bored again. <laughs> <laughs> Get your duck and parts and play solitaire. Yeah, that is. I'd rather play poker. <laughs> what? I'd rather play poker. Oh, well, it's a little hard to do that by yourself. Well, that's true. <laughs> okay, well, you go and do whatever you're going to do. I'm going to see if I can play some sleep. All right. I'll see you tomorrow if you're coming on. I'm sure. Right. <laughs> Good night. Good night. This is Florida Woman. It's 7.09 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a unmoderated call. You can hit star six and unmute yourself and speak at any time. Anyone on? Hey, Florida One. What's going on, man? Hey, Tango 800. 
What's going on, man? Uh, do I have you, uh, I'm trying to figure out if I got you friended on Facebook. It's James Sass, S-A-C-H-E. What, what, what's the first letter of the last? S. F is in Frank. S is in Sam. Oh. Uh, Franklin High School. Yellow, uh, don't tread on me. User pick? No. Spell out the first few letters of your last name.
If Florida won. Yes. Yeah, I just sent you a uh, message uh, on Facebook. Okay. Let me go check it. Larry Cook. Yeah. Yeah, that's not true. You hear me? Yeah. We already debunked it. We already took care of that earlier.
Are you there? I just sent you a message. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I didn't get it yet. Oops. I forgot to hit send. Oh, okay. Got it now.
It is 7.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and this is an unmoderated conference call. If you hit star six, you can get into the call and join the conversation. Talk about whatever you want to right now at this hour. And this is Florida One.
This is 41. Anyone else on? <clears throat> Is anyone else on the call? Yeah, I'm I'm here, Florida one. There's uh Tango eight hundred. I'm falling asleep, man. I've been up for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm typing out a request on uh on Twitter, uh a woman's marine husband was just shot in South Africa, he went through surgeries, died on the table three times, and uh, asking for prayers. Oh. Everything's uh, pretty touch and go. How long are you going to be on for? How, how long am I going to be on for? Yeah. Uh, not very much longer, I'd say less than... Uh, well, you know, the next 30 minutes or so. All right, well, um, Barbie will be on in a few, probably. She okay. called me to tell her I left about two minutes ago. I'm falling asleep. I don't want to fall asleep on the call and run up my phone. <laughs> yeah, I, I muted myself out. I was uh, trying to do some research here. All right, well, the call could be okay for a few minutes anyway with no one on it. I'm going to go mute myself out. All right, you have your good rest now. Yeah, you too. All right. We'll be on the side. <laughs>